We're not in the middle of a recession. We're in the middle of a robbery, a heist, and they're not even wearing masks. The oil price, the diesel price, the gas price, the food prices. It's all a big robbery. These companies are making untold record multi-billion pound profits out of the misery of the ordinary people, while the governor of the Bank of England is demanding that Britain's workforce take a pay cut of what effectively, given the rate of inflation, will be 10%, a tenth, a tithe to capitalism. Just think about that. And CNN are all at sea as Roger Waters takes them to the cleaners in a priceless three-minute flash of Pink Floyd genius in which he exposes their utter ignorance and arrogance about the international situation. And talking about sea, the American fleet is still steaming towards the Taiwan Straits. This after Cruella de Vil departs from Taiwan, tanked, tanked up, as she often is, on the alcohol of power and provocation. If you're one of those who thinks that Nancy Pelosi went to Taiwan of her own volition, you are too stupid to be here, and I invite you to switch off your television now. But if you have the good sense to know that this studied provocation by the Biden administration against China must mean something, unless we conclude they have all from Biden downwards lost their marbles entirely, we're going to speculate this evening about what it might mean. And I think it means that Joe Biden, like the European Union, and like the public all over Western countries, is fast losing interest in Zelensky and continuing the war in Ukraine. There are holdouts, of course, like Japanese soldiers found on Pacific Islands decades after the end of the Second World War, like the London Times, for example, which has just denounced Amnesty International as Putin's propagandists. And speaking of propagandists, what do you make of a mass media virtually silent about the slaughter of children in Gaza on an hourly basis? Half a hundred already dead as the most devastating powerful air force in the region pounds refugees with nowhere to go and nowhere to hide. I've seen this for well over 50 years, so I'm inured to it. What I will never be inured to is the media whores that turn their faces away, that call for war crime trials in the Ukraine, but don't even report what's happening in Gaza. Fasten your seatbelts. It's the mother of all talk shows.